Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to Florida weave your tomato plants. So, what is the Florida weave method? The Florida weave is a very efficient and often very cost-effective method to trellis tomato plants. It's based on sandwiching your plants between lengths of twine or string. This allows for maximum support and aeration of your plants. The thing I most like about the Florida weave is that it's a very modular approach and it can be expanded to cover rows and rows of plants so you don't have to buy 2,000 tomato cages to house your tomatoes or support your plants. Here I'm just showing a very poorly drawn schematic of how this is done. You will need a support and some string or twine. In our case, we used wooden stakes, nails, and some string. There are two ways to do it. In the first, you go to the back of the first plant, then front of the second, and then back of the next with the string. In the second method, you just go through the front with the string between the stakes or posts, and then just go through the back again with the string. The key thing in both cases is to keep the string very taut. Here I have my tomato plants in my garden bed. They're less than two feet tall and I will tie these first. I'm using two inch by two inch wooden stakes that I got from Home Depot. They are about four feet tall and that is sufficient for most tomato plants. You can get taller or longer stakes if you like, even plastic or metallic ones. I got some one and a half inch nails because I like a support to tie the twine. The twine I have is medium cotton twine. I like cotton because it's more environment friendly and I got all these from Home Depot as well. For consistency, I measure and mark off equidistance box to put the nails. Accuracy isn't highly crucial here, but it's just a way not to be too far off. I have marked 8 inch apart spots where I'm going to put the nails in. You can hammer in the nails, and as I said, they don't have to be perfect, just approximately right. So here they are. Now our stakes are ready and good to go, we're ready to start the trellis. Just hammer them in in the edge of the bed or where you're going to start. I prefer to keep the nail part away from the plants that I'm tying. Check to make sure the stake is securely in place. Now that we have our first set of stakes secured in place, we are ready to weave. The hardest part of weaving is usually tying a knot that's very secure. First, tie the thread securely to the nail, that's why I like the nail, and then go around a few times, tie a knot or two, then you're ready to extend the thread to the plants.
Now we've started sandwiching the plants between the thread or twine. And at this point, be careful not to, you know, damage the plant and do it slowly but surely. And we're using the first crisscross method that I showed in the schematic. When you get towards the end, make sure the string is very taut, but not taut enough to damage the plants. And loop around the nail and, you know, we're gonna tie a few knots and um, make sure it's very secure so it's not wobbly or shaky for the plants. As you can see, I'm trying to tie a very strong knot so it's very secure, so it lasts the whole season. So make sure you do this um, pretty well. I'm sandwiching the plants between the second layer of string and I'm using that crisscross method going to the back of one, the front of the next, and then the back of the next and continuing to do so until I reach the end of the stake where I'm going to make the final knot for that row. Here you go. This is my first row of a completed Floral Florida weave and I'm going to do the second and third ones when the plants grow or become a lot more taller. And here it is. This is the second set that I've done for my smaller plants and uh, I plan to do it for my several beds of tomato plants. Thank you for watching. Happy Florida weaving and trellising!